Hi folks, this is Boris, and uh, I just had my coffee and I'm going to do a little bit of uh, musical exercises before I head out for a walk, and uh, I thought I'd share one of the things you can do at home with uh, without really having any musical instruments. So um, I've got a spoon here, another spoon, two sp soup spoons, I try to match them. Uh, because you get a better sound that way and a little more control. They have the same weight. And um, one of the things you can do is have some fun with rhythm. And uh, this is what I suggest you do. You just grab one of your spoons and you grab it with your thumb and index like this. And then with your uh, other three fingers on your hand here, you're just going to rest the other spoon on them. Like this. And uh, and then you bring them together so that the bottom of the spoons tap against each other. And that's a type of percussion instrument that's used a lot in French Canadian music. Um, so anyhow, I'm going to hold them and then I'm going to move my hand down a little bit so that there's a nice long um, part to the spoon. And I can now make a rhythm. And then with my left hand, I can slap the spoons from the top. So it's hitting my knee and the top, my, my lap, sorry, and then the top of my hand like this. And then you can create your own rhythms. Another little trick you can do with these spoons too is, is you can fan out your hand like this, like jazz hand. And then you can do this. And then when you combine that into your rhythm, so there you go. That's how you can make uh, some rhythms with your a basic set of soup spoons are best because they're nice and big. And um, another thing you can do is if you have a hard floor or a piece of wood, you can just find a piece of plywood somewhere. Um, you can also do the same thing with your feet. So one of the tricks to get this rhythm, again, this is a French-Canadian thing, is you, you sit on a nice chair, a nice solid chair, no arms, it's easier. And uh, you go like this, you put your heel on the floor and then you slap the tip of your foot, and you do it really fast. Um, in drums, it's called a flam. Boom. Okay? Um, and you do, this is your strong beat, beat one, one, and then on beat two, you just use the tip of your foot, or the, the ball end of your foot, right here. So like this, slap, ball end of your foot. Slap, tip, slap, tip, slap, tip. And it's just four beats. One, two, three, four. And then in between, you throw in your, your left foot with a little light tap. So to slow it down, it looks like this. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. So heel, go, heel, go, heel, go, heel, go. One, two, and two, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. So it's like a galloping horse. And then you can bring it up to the speed that you want. I kind of like this as a good speed for like riding a horse. And then you get your spoons and so there you go. And if you're feeling courageous, you can even take an instrument like a guitar or a mandolin or whatever, um, and you can play and do that with your feet as well. Um, I do that for fun as well. And uh, if you want to take this to another level, you can also bring it on stage. I actually have a board here that I've made. This is from a table um, that I found in a back room. Uh, it's just a piece of plywood, and I put a uh, little handle over here so that I can carry it. I put a little strip of 
metal here. I drilled a few holes. Uh, and so when I put it under the chair, this little strip here stops the board from sliding uh, while I'm doing the beats with my feet. Over here I've got a microphone. It's called a PZM type microphone, which uh, picks up vibrations. This is a cheap one uh, by Realistic. Um, this is a little power pack that has a battery just to power the microphone. Um, and then I can just hook that into a sound system. And then here I've also put in a piano pedal for a digital piano just because um, sometimes when I do shows I might be playing piano and keeping a beat with my feet and I don't want the pedal sliding around all over the place. So um, I've put this board together and then I've reinforced the corners with some little metal brackets and then underneath um, just put some little rubber bits just to protect the floor. And I just do this, put the chair over top, right where the strip is, and then I do my rhythm that way. So there you go. That's a simple thing you can do with really what you've already got around the house. Um, and it's a good way to get a little bit of exercise and work on your rhythm when you're stuck at home. So give it a try. It's a lot of fun.